Hello guys, so now I'm planning to do a new series of video each uh, about the one specialization of the deck because I think I, there is no true tutorial about it on YouTube that could be a good idea the f this one gonna be the first uh, about motori motorized specialization as you can see this uh, type of video gonna be aimed towards middle level player not extremely good of course because well they don't really need they maybe don't need my help but also not for newer player like really newbie because specialization are a little bit harder to start with they are not harder to play uh, after you get a certain level but they have a harder start like you you need to have some ground about playing on spec deck to know what to do when you, when you play a specialized deck uh, really if you don't know how to play normally how to play with unspec please uh, I'm gonna maybe send send into the description some help but you my video won't help you 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 need you need to to learn to play the game normally before going into specialization also a little bit uh, a thing about is each pay about uh, the specialization themselves is that they are not equal and so my video won't be the same length and the most important specialization gonna get more credit and more time the, the good one are of course armored mechanized and motorized after that it, it gets a little um, a little bit harder to play so this one gonna be a uh, uh, maybe long. I think I'm gonna do this in two parts. In this one, we are going to see the the overall strength and problem of motorized deck because you have advantage, but also some uh, some drawback. Then I'm gonna go into some decks you can use. And uh, a part about strategy where we are gonna watch some replays, see what works, what don't work with motorized deck. And then in another video, I'm gonna go very deep into uh, the strategy, uh, the theory crafting of map, but seeing from a motorized point of view uh, because that's gonna be something you will see throughout the video the standard point of view you have when you play on spec is not the same when you play motorized so I'm gonna do that in another video but because that will take very much time so let's start by responding to what is a, a motorized deck and why you use it so it's a deck with plus one experience in recon, vehicle, and infantry. So very good veterancy bonus. On top of that, you you get a minus one activation point cost for each card of this type. So you can get more of them, and you have two more available. Uh, cards possible for this type so you don't have five uh, recon possible five possible uh, cards in infantry recon you have now seven and for vehicle i think it's the same yes it's exactly the same and they all have plus one experience that's uh, that's what it is uh, on on the other hand, you're gonna lose some units in the selection. I'm gonna show you in the armory. Basically, you won't get the armored CV. 
you can have some little armor CV but only on will you won't get uh, the tank CV for example for infantry you don't have all shock infantry but most most of them you will have you have all elite infantry I, I think yeah yeah you get all of them you don't get all the line infantry but most of them problem is on transport you don't get the five pound box there is some limit on AA most of your AA is gonna be wheeled not armored some LRM won't be available, some artillery won't be available. For example, the famous French LRM is not available. As you can see, you don't have it. And uh, the limitation on tank is very hard. You don't have super heavy, you don't even have heavy. And you can only get two medium tank possible, Mexas and the ZTC 2A in China and considering the Mexas is a prototype you won't see that very often in motorized deck Recon you have everything except the M84AN from the Yugoslavia because that's not really a, a standard recon that's more of a medium uh, tank recon and since you don't have medium tank by logic you can't have a medium recon tank and you get almost all of vehicle and uh, most of helicopter and air still uh, you don't have uh, also uh, I forgot you don't have uh, the most uh, the most IV most IV in uh, in the infantry tab, you don't have them, which is a drawback. So now, how, how we can work from it? Well, the, the advantage you get from infantry and recon give you some very good possibility for fast attack. Most of your fast units with Recon vehicle or infantry gonna be good. So you're gonna have fast unit, very good. You're gonna have many recon, may especially aggressive recon, because now with the veteran bonus they they hit more often. They tend to panic less. You have more cards also, which can be a uh, good advantage so you're gonna see, you're gonna see a lot of thing with your motorized deck that's uh, that's a very big uh, bonus and uh, on some field you're gonna be very good or part of the game for example on flank the bonus on recon is very uh, important so flank gonna be a, a good position for you, a good position to attack deep forest also because you're infantry you still have most elite infantry so the bonus card gonna help you deep city for the same reason and uh, the in terms of uh, timing in the game, the, the opening is going to be good for you because this is a place where we like the helicopter. Uh, heli helicopter in that transport infantry with rocket pod, MI-17, Panther, Lens H7. This thing is going to be updated and, you, and the bonus card in infantry mean you can get more of them you're gonna have good recon all of that make for a good opening and also the last place where moto is very good is multitasking we are gonna talk a lot about this topic 
multitasking because the infantry is something that costs not much. Rec aggressive recon is also pretty cheap. So that make two cheap option and also fast option with the helicopter to move around, attack on one place, attack also on the other, put pressure on multiple sides of the map. That's uh, the bonus of moto. Now for the cons and the drawback, we we tend to to have some problem against a mass of tanks. That is medium or super heavy. Both are problematic. And by mass, I mean two or three or even four. Uh, one, one. Okay, that you can you can do with that. Maybe set up a number, should do something. Maybe maybe just ignore it because that a super heavy don't do that much damage against infantry. So you, you might just uh, take it take it on the on, on the line infantry. But when there is two, three, maybe four, that then uh, the motorized deck tend to really suffer. The, the plane won't be enough at some point. You don't as I, as I said before, you don't have super heavy, you don't have heavy, you uh, you know, rarely, rarely you have um, even a medium tank, so you're gonna have to fight with light tank. Ah, that's that's a drawback, a big drawback of motorized tank, especially on the meta where mm, people like to buy medium tank. That's gonna be a big problem to to fight for example K K1 with uh, with Leo power 1 A5 one that's gonna be a big problem for you also the, the fact you don't have a cheap spam or some they have but most don't mean on opel field you tend to have some trouble it's really harder for you to to get some cheap spam to tank the shot and also as i said before tanks medium tanks and mass of heavy tank are hard to counter with motorized deck and because because they this type of tank dominates the open field Open field is by itself, by its nature, dangerous for motor motorized deck. There is also another place where motorized deck have some troubles. It's the tree line type of forest, and especially the ground in that type of forest. If you if it's just a little fight, okay, but if it's a grind, it's gonna be hard. Don't don't um, don't confound the tree line type of forest and the deep forest, of course. Deep forest is when the forest is very very dense, and the enemy fire support can't reach your infantry because the forest is way too deep, more than four hundred meters. This is where motorized is, is good, but. If it's at some tree line forest, like very little forest, uh, the forest is a tree line, or the forest is only uh, only 100 meters deep, maybe less, maybe maybe 50 meters deep. Now your opponent can use his fire support, his IV, uh, the IV you don't have. For example. Uh, he gonna use the, this type of unit, the IMX 10P, the the K, the KV 25. Um, 
a lot of them are, are good, they, you know them, they are very good. You don't have any motorized, so the three line infantry, the three line fight, excuse me, gonna be. gonna be. not very easy, especially in grind. So try to have a, to avoid them. Now I'm gonna show you some decks to use. And we can uh, we can uh, see there is only three very good uh, motorized deck because the the specialization itself is not very used. It's a little bit underrated, but at the same time, it's not extremely powerful specialization. Motorized is hard to play, so. You're gonna have uh, only three very good choice of moto deck. There are your core motorized, Finpol motorized, and NATO motorized. So there are the good one. And I'm gonna, gonna show you a, a little bit of of them. And what you can change if you want. So you are motorized probably one of the strongest with simple. There are the two best. Nato a little bit behind, but still very good motorized deck. So what is it about? Mostly about the recon. Recon, just amazing. Re recon, you have the Veterancy bonus. You have, uh, you even have an AA into this. You have the commando power, very good infantry, very good shock infantry. You have the MX10, so MX13. That's gonna help you a lot for fire support. You have the Tiger. That's a very, very good uh, recon tab. On top of that, infantry tab is pretty good with Legion 19. Please don't, uh, don't, don't update them. You will need a lot of them if you make your 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 corp motorized deck. Don't update, please. You're gonna have uh, the Milan F3. A lot of Panther. Very good uh, Fatcher Mario 19. That's uh, a good tab also. Overall, the deck is uh, very good for aggression. The VAP T20 also to infiltrate. And the, the the twist about it is you still get, for example, you still get uh, some good AA against Ellie Rush or if your opponent try to bomb your thing, you only get the Caesar, so the, the artillery is less good. However, you still have a very good uh, peace train. You have the Perch with Tiger. You can get the Tigre HD if you want. So so all of that means you these decks tend to have more power on the open field than other motorized decks. That's what makes it very very good, but it's also very good at the opening because of IMX10 and it has some good power in deep forest and forest. That's uh that's what it's about. However, the main drawback I saw from this is you have to play Caesar and not LRM, so that can be a little bit harder. And when you run out of Legion 19, the 80 are a little bit of a problem sometimes. Still, a very good deck. Then we have the Finpol motorized deck. 
the strongest opening deck I think in the game. You don't have the MX10, yes, but you have the KT. You have the Eric Curry Jacari. They come very fast. They destroy everything. You you get a very good opening. You also have the rack. So an LRM is huge, huge for motorized deck. This deck is uh, very powerful, Ma many elite infantry. You have the MI-17. However, contrary to your carp, you don't have the Milan F3. You have the Salamandra instead of the PH2 Tiger, which is not on the same level. You don't have some super helicopter to kill uh, tanks. Your tanks are even worse than what your Kormoto has. And you have, yes, you have two Syria, but when they are dead, the only thing you have to for anti tank is this. And that means Finpol motorized is stronger on the opening. It has a very strong opening, stronger that than your corp. You can make your opponent very crazy with the KT. You can do a lot, but the trouble against tank is very very hard to solve. If you lose your Syria, you you know the game gonna be hard. But at the same time, if you don't use the Syria, it's gonna be hard to kill the enemy tanks. This deck is a little bit tricky to use against tank, but I really like it for the the power it gave with the, his, his infantry, the opening. And also the LRM. Also the AA is uh, very good with the ROM and the I-219. ASF, <laughs> yeah, memming the bull bullshit, uh, completely bullshit. So that's uh, that's what you have for the Finpal motorized. You can change uh, the air tab for the Oak 51, but the 80 plane is too important. You could get out the seed for the Oak 51, but I don't feel that is the best. But you can do this. So that's. That was what it need to say about this deck. Then we have the your the NATO motorized deck. This deck is a, a little bit hard for me to explain to you because this deck is very very personal. When you are gonna make it, you're gonna have a lot of choice. So many choice that I can really give you a good. Uh, there is not a definitive deck about it. Some people, for example, use the chasseur. I saw some people use the the fusil nineteen. Use the gouvernement uh, grenadier or so. No, no grenadier. Gouvernement. Some player use. Uh, Use uh, the Stormer, the, the Commander 19. There is a lot of options with this deck. I, I could go on and on and on and on. However, there will be always one thing that will stay. Whatever your your choice, or even you, if you made a good choice at least, the infantry tab of uh, NATO Motorized is always very good, very good for grind. That is the Gurkhas 19, the FKP, the, the Commander 19, as I said before. 
all of them gonna be very good for grinding in deep forest you're gonna have some good helicopter for heli drop AA is okay however there is some problem with the the heli drop because you don't have good uh, AA helicopter you you only choose are the 40.1 or the Celtic both die in one shot so not not uh, very very good so any drop at the opening gonna be hard and you don't get uh, good artillery you get the last two you could use it but that not very that's not particularly good also uh, lim activation points are limited you're gonna have to make some choice, some difficult choice. Recon tab is good, uh, but but they are they, not on the level of wh wh what you you saw before. Still, the you have some very good choice for example, the Bradley CAV, very good with the veterancy. You can make it on, on some side and side shot thing or even not not side shot the even even on the front of a super heavy does big damage. It's still fee, it's uh, very accurate. It can tank some shot on his uh, front armor. You also have the Kyoa. Don't underestimate this unit. Yes, it's not uh, the salamandra is not the PH2 tiger but it deal some good damage it's very small it has exceptional optic you have to micro the four missile but it 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 can do, do the, the job and then you you have the air tab uh, amazing air tab for uh, for the motorized deck you have many things to many choice to do you can do I choose Thunderbird, Kernas and Raven you can choose something more like uh, Peace Fuzzon 2 uh, Peace Fuzzon no uh, Peace Shrine and some other things overall plane shots gonna be extremely good to kill tanks however you, you tend to to have trouble with activation points, so buying a fifth card of plane gonna be really, really hard. It will basically destroy your deck in other position. But the deck is good in it's better or in grind than other motorized deck. This is very sh special about this deck. It's better in grind because you have good plane and good grind infantry but the opening is hard you, you have a mixed end but you have less good thing for the opening you don't have vision 19 you don't have kt you don't have uh, anything to protect your helicopter drop <laughs> except some bad a helicopter all of that make the nato motorized deck less strong in opening but you have some grind possibility then after the free great deck you have some motorized deck that are a little bit underwhelming but still possible to use you tend to handicap yourself a little bit with them still doable there are the commonwealth mo motorized a lot of uh, Elite Infantry, you have the Gurkhas 19, you get the ADAT that you can use for anti tank, that's a good, uh, 
a good unit to use. You have the Mexas, so you have one of the best medium in the game. Very good. You can combo it with uh, some militia or just line infantry. You have the Commander 19, so that's good for some grind and fighting with tanks. However, the trouble arrive on the recon tab where you don't have much aggressive recon and this is one of the other bonus of playing Motorazeg and yeah if, if your recon tab is not very good that that's a problem for Motorazeg. On top of that you don't have uh, on the super tab a uh, good uh, wheel AA that's dangerous and you don't have a good AA helicopter to protect your helicopter drop so you tend to have some troubles at the opening it's very weird it's commonwealth it's gonna it's not very mm, very powerful in some place but it can do wonder with the Mexas and the the Commander 19, the Gorshkas 19 and the Adat you can do some wonder but the lack of good recon on the side means you lose a, a, a big chunk of the bonus of playing motorized yeah mm. La last thing uh, I have to point out in this deck is the uh, Vikers MK11 that gonna basically take the place of uh, your main tank but I think uh, I have covered this uh, enough. Then you, on the other possibility, you have Norad. Norad is a motorized deck that has very good plane and recon tab on the open field. Longbow, Bradley, that's very good. You also have the Mexas again, so good possibility. The AA is insane. You can do some any drop with the DAP. That's very good for open field. Nora the motorized, extremely good at cheesing at the start of the game, uh, sending your plane to your opponent. But the infantry tab is very bad. Like even with the veteran bonus, I have trouble with it. You don't have good IV. And the transport, the the transport is bad, but also the infantry it, in them are bad. Like <laughs> that's that's not very good for grinding in in forest, even in city, and it's gonna give you some troubles. You you don't have AT gems except the light riflemen and light riflemen 19s. That's a motorized deck that basically like to be on open field, but on other, other type of ground like deep forest, even flanking, just forest line, you're gonna have trouble. And then the last one that is still playable, you, it's uh, China in pair with Red Dragon very strange deck the basically is the basic idea is you have again a medium tank the ZTZ2A which is okay you have very good AA to protect them and on top of that you have a lot of militia the the transport are good the infantry in in them are okay Recon is okay with Liran and the uh, Recon tank and a lot of plane. That's also why we uh, we play China and mm, in, instead of uh, Red Dragon sometimes because China you get free Q5D, free uh, GA7 instead of only two, which is a big bonus. So this deck is basically not doing so much at the opening because you can't you don't have the MX10 or Vikers 11 
but maybe grind uh, with uh, the militias, the medium tanks. With uh, to try to go on the side with the the transport, but uh, that will be be less effective than MX10 uh, or Eurocorp. Still, something to you can use. You can also spam spam the air very well. Just uh, be careful. Your artillery is not very good. If if uh, it come out to a very big crime, you could lose against someone that use artillery. And and then there is some other moto deck that that I I saw some player play or I played with, but uh, are dubious. I'm just gonna say them like Scandinavian moto, USSR moto, Entente motorized. DJC motorized, Blue Dragon motorized, all of them are mostly for the meme and just uh, yeah don't 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 try to use them. I tried some of them, but if you want to handicap yourself, yes, but uh, they are not very competitive. So now you have your deck. Probably you use one of the of three great. Motorized deck, I recommend to you. But wh what can you do now? What is the, the strategy? You, I started to give you some good position where it's good, but there is a different way to use them. But before I'm gonna go into the general strategy, something that will work. Uh, Every time in your, or that will be useful. Any time, some advice that are very important with motorized. So first, use many recon. It's something that is very important in all deck, of course. You recon is very important in War Dragon, in War Game, but. It's even more important with motorized. With motorized, you need even more recon, like very, very much recon. And aggressive recon, particularly, you need a lot of aggressive recon. You have the veterancy bonus, so don't be afraid of, of using it. You will see some player playing with motorized deck with recon instead of tanks, for example, or using the recon infantry instead of using the standard infantry sometimes. That is totally normal. You have to use a lot of recon. Whatever is the strategy with motorized deck, you will use a lot of recon. Most of the time with motorized deck you will use an MX10 RC instead of an MX10 or even a Leopard A1. A1 one A5, sorry. You will use the recon instead, most of the time. Same with Finball. Most of the time, you are gonna use the Pyomzi tanks, recon tanks, instead of the T55. The, the bonus on recon is just huge. You have more experience, so just use a lot, a lot of aggressive recon. Then you have also the air control again important in every deck but even more for motorized deck. Air control mean means you can attack the enemy tanks with plane, which sometimes are your only way to kill them. So if you don't have the air, you can kill them. They are gonna destroy the infantry. You're gonna lose the game. Air control. Extremely important for motorized deck. Sometimes you're gonna buy a preventively ISF to protect your your plane, your bomber. 
I'm gonna show you an example of what, what can happen when you lose the the air this is not very good to lose the air this is why also on some of my deck or most of my deck you can see you could see two uh, cards of ASF it's a uh, a very very important part at least you're gonna have the help of uh, your AA most of the time the the mo motorized gonna have good a to help you but you have to control it well because if you don't then it could hurt you a lot also also our thing uh, the the a tend to be wield not very armored and a is very important for air control but you don't have much armor so very be very careful about your a overall because you, you're gonna have to, to play a lot with uh, non armor aa so don't don't uh, send your a too much into open position um, like you could do for example with automatic uh, or the some armored uh, or little armored AA with uh, motorized deck you're gonna have A that is a little bit, bit uh, weaker so be very careful with them because they can die very very fast so you, you can see in the game i still i have the air control it's going pretty okay and then at one moment i'm gonna lose the uh, air control and everything gonna fall down i think it's pretty close to this moment yeah this is this, this moment, you see, there is a lot of plane on the air and I tried to go with my SF and they died. And now my opponent has the air control. This is against an airborne deck, so yeah, I, I don't have much use uh, of 80 plane, but I still want to stop my opponent from bombing me because my A is not armored, so that could be a problem. And this is exactly what happened, he bombed my A. My A was not armored. He's in a lot of helicopter. Again, A not armored, so helicopter pff, just uh, send a two rocket and they died. And yeah, I lost the game. So that's why that was one example I wanted to show to you uh, about why air control is very important. Then other principle of motorized deck general strategy. You're gonna use a lot of smoke because sometimes you can't really kill the enemy tanks or you can kill the fire support. So, what you're gonna do is to simply put some smoke and give a corridor of uh, protection or a wall of, mo of smoke so now your high vetted infantry can walk between two forests or two city or, or forest between a city and uh, use his power so when we are gonna watch the replay you are gonna see a lot a lot a lot of smoke talking about infantry marking infantry very important in uh, motorized 
the thing we are gonna see a lot are either resupplying or repairing the infantry when they are weak important to keep them alive especially because they have high veterancy so the veterancy means it's it's uh, better to save them because they cost more also we want to be careful when we turn on the MG to attack the enemy IV because you don't you won't have that much IV or you're gonna have fast wheel IV that tend to die pretty fast so the AT on uh, the infantry become very important you want we want to make micro that to go even deeper what we can do and what we we should do is to kite the enemy uh, transport or tanks what is kiting? kiting is firing with your AT weapon and then while it reload you go back you make the infantry going back after the AT shot is fired so the infantry gonna reload his shot while moving back from the enemy unit it will take less damage less mg damage for example if your opponent spam some uh, five pound box you're gonna take less damage uh, against tank uh, the same way and then when the AT weapon gonna be reload again you're gonna send the infantry up again to fight to shot his a second time with his AT and maybe does that a third time or a fourth time and so on and so on that seems dubious yes yes it's hard to do but it's very um, important because you, your infantry gonna be expensive so you really don't want your, your infantry to get uh, to get down from 10 HP to 3 HP because of 5 point box that went, that went straight to you you want to kill one, one 5 point box go back and then don't take damage reload attack move up kill a second uh, transport 5 point box maybe kill more And then the last type I have for you is initiative is most of the time very 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 good. Initiative f for motorized deck is just so important. Uh, most of the time we are gonna multitask and because we are fast and for that we need the initiative. It's very good to have initiative, be aggressive. That's something very very important so now I'm gonna give you some advice and strategy about opening so what I have is some image of my opening so I don't have to go through the replay what you will see is I almost always buy a fob that is very important you you are gonna use a lot of helicopter per helicopter maybe some uh, ATGM's recon helicopter or just ATGM's uh, helicopter You're gonna use a lot of HEGM's infantry, also artillery. All of that costs a lot of uh, supply. We want the fab. Yes, opening is very important. It's one of the main straight strength of motorized. But you're gonna hurt yourself too much in the long run if you don't buy a fab. The, the fab for me, the fab is mandatory in most motorized decks except if you don't have artillery if you don't have artillery 
Yes, maybe, but there is still the rocket pod helicopter that are important. The fob gonna gonna be gonna be by ninety percent of the game, even more, maybe, if you want to rise. So yeah, buy a fob. Because we buy a fob, we already have spent a lot of points, so we don't want to add too much CV. Uh, most of the time, it's gonna be a uh, one CV. Uh, on nuclear winter, like you can see, we are gonna need a second CV for the advanced spawn, same for highway to Seoul, but no third CV at all, and on the other map, one CV, it's enough. We want the aggressive opening, but at the same time we want the fob, so that would be just too much. Two CV and a fob uh, would be way too much on Plunge Valley for example. So, don't go too heavy on CV with motorized deck. Then, what you can do instead is going uh, with a lot of helicopter. You can see there is a lot of helicopter. Uh, we like heli drop with uh, with motorized on the opening. So that's what you can do. Now it's not me, it's not my opening, but uh, I think it's Blade War, but he's playing motorized, so it's in the same idea of the video. You can see he also go for s some helicopter. You see there is a Cassiope on, on the left, with a Panther with Commando Marine, another Panther on the right, a PH2 Tiger on the far right. All of that. Uh, is a uh, is typical of motorized deck. Uh, now you can see one of my opening also. You see again three helicopter to start, even four with the CV. So yeah, yeah. doing heli drop with uh, motorized deck is uh, most of the time something you're gonna do in the opening. Sometimes you're gonna even do two helicopter drop on different sides. Like on your, for example, here, one on the right, one on the right, and one on the left. So, most of the time, you're gonna do an helicopter drop. Talking of pushing multiple sides, most of the time with motorized deck, we are also gonna push multiple sides, especially at the opening. Because this is where recon is good, this is where your helicopter drop is good, but you don't want only the helicopter drop, you want something to back it up after the, the infantry is unloaded. So we are gonna, gonna go pretty uh, pretty dense on multiple sides, like you see, by the person right and person left on this image. On this one, you can see there is a push on the left, there is big defense on the right from Blitzwar, and on this, uh, it's a little bit less, it's more dense towards left, but there is still something in the right. So, yeah, most of the time on opening, we are gonna go on multiple sides. Don't be afraid of uh, not doing a tall push, don't be afraid of. Uh, of having only some units in some place where you want to push because you you are to think yes I'm a motorized deck so my units are by, by themselves a little bit better than my opponent so I can afford to to do a multiple side push and not uh, just trying to force myself into pushing one location you could but most of the time, you won't. Then there is also uh, a last thing about uh, this. I put a, um, a question mark on it. It's, it's the ISF. Do we want a starting ISF for opening with motorized? I can't really respond. Maybe. It's uh, good if you do an early drop, so you don't get 
cooked by some uh, MiG-21 bees, uh, the MLD from Russia, or the Puff, for example, from Scandinavia. But at the same time, it's a very costly investment, so it's up to you. You could start with ISF, or you could not start with ISF with motorized deck. That's uh, completely up to you. I give you uh, the choice. So now, we have done the opening. Well, what is your strategy now? With motorized deck, you have basically three main strategy you can do, and you can mix them sometime against uh, after the pain. So the the first situation that you can see is this one. You have you have done an amazing opening. Opening went very well. You took a a position forward. You, you killed some A. You killed some tanks. Maybe. Maybe even plane. You took the good position. You have amazing defensive position, solid ground. This is, this was the dream opening. Then you can afford to simply defend. Uh, that that's, that's simple. But sometimes you you have to keep it simple. You. you the opening went very well because motorized is good so don't throw yourself into your opponent and, and, and for the game with it we can keep it simple like you see I just buy some units and maybe try to kill the CV but uh, I don't push too far I don't try to go into this city I wait into the deep forest I go a little I move too much uh, my infantry up and I simply wait for my opponent to attack in my fortified position that I took in the opening because of the motorized pack and you can see that works in this game however this strategy even though it's good and can you give can give you some win, it it tends to be pretty rare because it, it, it just falls into the option the assumption that opening gonna g get very well and you're gonna have a strong position to defend, which won't happen every time. In fact, it will be pretty rare when I went into my replay to give you an example of this I could only find f four occasions of this in my last 30 motorized game where I was so dominant in the opening that I could just defend my ground and win most of the time stopping after the opening and waiting on your position gonna be a trap most of the time you don't want to do that so don't uh, don't uh, think too much about about uh, motorized deck as just uh, I'm gonna do an amazing opening and my opponent gonna have to attack me into my defensive position and gonna, and I gonna win no because if you do that most of the time you won't have the good opening you hope for and you're gonna find yourself completely uh, lost into the game so that's uh, what is for the first strategy then the most used strategy for motorized which is multitasking on front or flank maybe both is the most used strat because it's very effective 
thing is you're gonna have a lot of uh, vision with your recon your aggressive recon gonna even kill the enemy recon so you're gonna basically put your enemies into the dark that what uh, motorize can do I will show you an example here so you're gonna put your enemy in the, into the dark attack on multiple sides to basically put pressure at all times onto your opponent so that he don't have time to build the the mass of tank he hoped for or mass of infantry he hoped for and trash you because you don't have the thing to counter this also wh what you what this gonna do to your opponent is it's gonna be hard for them to smoke micro their tanks they're super heavy at the same time pushing everywhere gonna be hard for him to to cover everything with his AA maybe you could kill the A because you you just push on too many sides or even you go into the flank like uh, like like this for example so he's it's gonna be hard for him to to have A, a everywhere and then your helicopter can just uh, push it's very dirty tactic but it's uh, yes it's uh, it's motorized deck. Uh, when you are gonna do this tactic, play in a helicopter because that's gonna be very important. Also, uh, you can see now I'm multitasking, I'm going on a push on Charlie. Delta is also threatened. Uh, I push on Echo at the same time. So this is per multitasking and uh, what you are gonna see just right now also into this type of uh, other strategy of multitasking is uh, changing side like for example you saw I was pushing Charlie I saw it didn't went very well right now so and I went on eco so now what I can do to, to not le let him let my opponent regain the control of the game is to start an attack on Bravo, changing side. This is important. Sometimes it, it doesn't uh, give you so much skill, but at least it gives you some time and force your opponent about doing something else. Like, for example, you see, he sent unit here, so he didn't have point to, to cover his tank, and he dies to, a, to an 80 plane. And also, he, he, it makes the push on Charlie and Delta very slow because he has other things to to do. And even when he does, uh, his uh, transport come much slower than my helicopter or my KT that uh, that that I have in motorized deck. So. Ching Tsai can be effective. Yes, I didn't get the ground, but at least it gives me some time, some room. And it put a pressure on my opponent. <laughs> also, when you do this strategy, don't forget artery. Artery is very important, especially RM, to just change the side of push and immediately go from one side to another, one errand strike can do a big difference. Like you're gonna see. And you, you see the effect of multitasking. Now, now, now he has some units in the middle. He has way too much unit on the middle for, for just holding it because I, 
I push him before. He has a lot of thing here. I have Kitty on his back because he didn't protect his. So very. Well, that's a very efficient tactic to just multitask uh, against your opponent. With Motorizek. Yes, yeah, sorry, I was doing something else. Okay, so also uh, on another side note, when you multitask, you want to set up ambush on tank. Um, for example, you you are gonna put some ATGM infantry, and most of the time you don't want to activate them. You want to turn them off and wait for the proper moment to. Start the attack. That's uh, a very uh, effective way, especially because when you multitask, your opponent is gonna probably not watch his uh, tank, and then this is where you can unleash uh, the ATGM when the side of the tank is uh, is possible to attack. And this is where you can do a very big damage. Your, your opponent probably won't uh, turn turn his tank. He won't even probably watch it because you attack somewhere else. That's where you can. That's a way to kill his tank. Or you can use a plane, as I said before. Plane very important, especially when you multitask. Multitasking is most of the time the, the strategy used. Probably. 80% of the game are multitasking or maybe 70% however I'm I'm gonna show you this game because you don't you have to not uh, go into some trap I lost this game because I made some error so before it was a good way to do some multitasking I use the RM. I I had some unit uh, well hide. I change the side and so it delays the attack of my opponent. He delay his A and so I could push. But this game not gonna end well for me. Reason is simply. Uh, my opponent went very very tall so I, I had to adapt myself to be a little bit taller I try to you are gonna see me trying to do some push on the side but at the end uh, I'm gonna be over aggressive for example here lose my unit for nothing not gonna find a way to to, to push him on multiple sides or uh, I'm gonna do it pretty poorly and in over aggressiveness so yeah don't fall into the trap of I need to multitask so I need to simply uh, throw, throw unit uh, at my opponent face uh, this is not mechanized deck 
you, you want to to multitask but you don't want to live in it like this uh, alone without any support also you can see a lot of enemy bomber killing my unit they this go to the air air domination part and you can see I, I'm trying to multitask but most of my units are just uh, without good support and, and at the end because he this is a small map and and he can surrender some position like Bravo I'm running against uh, a wall of uh, many support and tanks and at the end try to get to be over aggressive to push the CV of Fox, Foxtrot I lose most of my thing lost my air unit and this is a uh, just losing right now he he gonna push uh, all the way down to to this CV I'm gonna lose Fox right after that so yeah don't fall into the trap of over aggressiveness aggressiveness is enough don't do it too much Don't it too much, or, or you're gonna lose units. Most, sometime, not all the time, but most time I'm gonna say when the infantry is too low HP or tanks are to getting low, you want to resupply, repair instead of just uh, pushing like a madman. Yeah. Then. We're gonna have the last of the free strategy you can do after the opening, which is to do a tall grind. This is a specific strategy. It's less used. It's rarely used by some play by people, but I like to use it sometime, like ten percent of the time, twenty percent of the time. It's a strategy that can be only be done when when you are on deep forest or deep city and you don't face a specialized infantry or specialized card that destroy infantry very fast for example against BMPT you're gonna have trouble uh, BTRT plus Sapere also Merkava 2A can be counter mm. The AGL team, Granatomet, for example, gonna post trouble also. But if you open, don't have that. Even if you play mechanized deck, he gonna probably lose against your unit. So what? Why this grind is so good? The idea of this grind is that you have a lot of elite infantry or shock squad, Sho shock light squad. And then you are simply, and you also have artillery, so you want to push, kill some units, and then send them to repair. You are probably gonna win because uh, you have a fob. If your opponent doesn't have a fob, of course, you're gonna lose. You're gonna have artillery, so even if your opponent plays artillery, you're gonna be equal. And Ultimately, you have a lot of elite infantry. Uh, this is very good to grind because they can uh, very fast, firstly go back after killing one or two units, and then after that, you, you can repair them. If your opponent try to do that, he won't have the same amount of elite or shock infantry than you. So he gonna at one point he gonna run out of them. If you try to use vehicle, except some very special vehicle like B, like I said, BTRT, uh, BMPT, Merkava 2A, uh, the elite infantry all have very good, or most of them have 
good AT weapon. So good luck trying to to spam the five pound box against Apilas, for example. It probably won't work. And uh, if it try to use right some uh, light infantry or no sorry uh, lightly train infantry uh, cheap spam y you could just kill uh, one uh, government for example one dragon earth with uh, your 8 infantry and then go back repair your opponent can do that because if you repair uh, because the unit are smaller and he has more that's gonna cost him way too much supply to handle this. So at the end, you're gonna probably won. This is a special tactic that is a tall push. You don't want to push too far. Don't go into over aggressiveness with infantry that has only two or three HP. Just, just when you are in DP city, go back, go back, repair them, and uh, at the end you can uh, even. Uh, uh, out, out, uh, run and out infantry, uh, mechanized deck, uh, like you can see. You can send some uh, helicopter with rocket pod to help, or some fire super like MX10, but the, this is deep forest, so the the main unit gonna be infantry. Just after that, I'm gonna show you uh, an example of what you don't want to do when you're trying this strategy. So there is multiple uh, things that can go bad. So you can see everything went well and I finally won the game because I repair. But it can go very bad. For example, when you don't repair, if you don't repair infantry, now you are you are gonna lose the game most likely. Because if you don't repair, you the, the tax cost you have to pay for for the fast transport gonna be too much to handle. You gonna lose the game. Uh, also, not buying artillery for a grind is bad. Uh, if you don't have artillery, the, gr the grind deep forest or city gonna probably be loose. And also, because your opponent gonna probably use RT, you want to not pack too much your infantry. What I mean by pack is uh, be uh, too too close together in this game you're gonna see a little bit of all of them at the start I didn't repair my infantry I didn't come uh, come back soon enough so I, I get trapped my infantry died and throughout the game you are gonna see some problems like this that that gonna cost me the game And, uh, and for example here I, again I I tend to not go back soon enough to, to eat too much fire support in the edge of the forest because it's dangerous to go on, on the edge with a motorized deck you don't have to have so much fire support now again finally I push again <coughs> But the grind is gonna. At the end, I'm gonna lose the grind against this motorized deck. You, you saw I push on the other side, so I this is something. And then you see, uh, I have a lot of 
hit infantry, but they are too packed together. And the, the bombing gonna start and I'm gonna lose my... My elite infantry, yes, having elite infantry is good, but don't uh, pack them too close together. That can really hurt. Uh, hurt again, plane, but also hurt against uh, rocket pod, but hurt against uh, artillery shot. That's uh, always a problem. The, the thing also you can see in this game, and I want to point out, except the problem of packing too much infantry like this, you can see two commander marine and two legion die in one run, so I lose the game. Uh, no, no, I was already losing this side, but it cost me this side. Is uh, also you you can make the strategy together. I I point it to you the, the strategy of grinding, maybe multitasking, maybe defend the ground. You have won the opening very defensively, but all of them really are really are something you can use uh, together. You saw uh, at the start of this game, I was grinding very tall, and I saw I had some trouble, so I switched to multitasking on the other side of the map, and so I was grinding plus multitasking at the same time, grinding uh, with my infantry on forest, and multitasking on the other side, so this was some sort of artificial way to tell you what to do in some specific situation, but of course, this are uh, this is not so much cemented in into the game. You can do both. You can also do some infiltration. Infiltration. I didn't show you an example. I could, but I won't because this is very cancerous. Like uh, you can see some player like Blitzward going uh, full uh, full infiltration in your back with uh, 200 points of unit, uh, even more going behind. That is a strategy that worked very well with Motorized, but I don't plan to go too deep on that. It, it, for me, it's part of multitasking, but it's uh, but it's also a strategy you can use. So, I think that was it for the general strategy thing that was on every map. I think I have give you a lot of uh, have advice about motorized deck. If I I feel the need, I'm gonna give you a second video about uh, specific position in some map. Or give you maybe some advice I didn't talk about, or some error I, f I said into this video. And so, ho hope uh, to see you into this next video.